Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Now, I want to explain the concept of mausulat and mausul and sila. So, what happens is, let's take a few examples. Okay, let's take example number one. We say we say up here. Let's say here I said, I read your words. Okay, so I read your words. We say here. I read what you wrote. And number three, your writing the exercise. Please me. Okay. Now, if we analyze this, the the word your your words is mudaf but it's a, it's a single word if you mudaf mudafale. So this is taking a start, isn't it? Are you following me? So in here, our mafulun bihi. In here, our mafulun bihi is becoming what? What's it becoming? Mudaf, but it, it, it's a it's a sing it's a single it's a, it's a single word meaning it's not a sentence. All right. In this example, I read. The mafool bihi is it a words or phrase or is it a sentence? Sentence. A sentence. Okay. Or. You can even rephrase this sentence number two into another way. It pleased me. It might be easier to go with it actually. It pleased me. It pleased me that you wrote the lesson. Gustav, I don't understand how, I don't understand how what you wrote is a sentence. Okay, not the what. Okay, let's take out, let's take out. The you wrote. You wrote. Is that a sentence? You wrote on its own. Uh, as a statement, yes. Yes, okay. That's what we're looking at. Not the part with what. This is a you wrote. Okay. Similar thing here. You wrote the lesson. Okay, let's just let's let's okay, let's just stick with you here. Can we not remove the highlighting? Right. So let's go back here. So what you wrote. So let's 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 put that here. So what you wrote is one plot, but within that we say here, you wrote is a sentence. You wrote the lesson is what? A sentence. And then we have the words what and the words that. The words you and the word, the words what and the words that. What do they do? They allow the sentence to fit in a slot, don't they? You follow? Does that make sense? So yeah. In the first, in, the, in example, in our example number one, so your words is it's, it's one word or one set of words fits in a slot. That's not a problem. In example number two, and example number three, what we have is that we have a scenario where uh, we have sentences which cannot generally fit in slots. But the, we have certain words like what and that, which attaches to those sentences, and that atta those attached particles allow the whole sentence to become one of the slots. Maful bihi, for example. And in the second example, in the third example, from the fa'i. Yes? So, for everybody with me? Okay. Yes? So far, so good? Yeah. I said well done. Okay. Now in here do we have a sentence? Well done. Let me let's just change it to the same the same the same concept so it becomes easier. 
the same. Uh, 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 I said you wrote. I said you wrote it. What is you wrote it becoming a sentence, isn't it? Correct. What's it becoming? Yeah. Of ulun. Lihi. Is there any additional adapter? Now that it is fixed directly, isn't it? Following? Yeah. Everybody following me? Si. Yeah. Okay. Now, what happens now? What we call, what we say here, when we have, when we have a, uh, when we have a sentence within a sentence like this, sometimes the sentence comes directly. So the sentence is a direct slot. There's no additional particles here. And sometimes, in, exa in these two examples, it becomes an indirect slot. Indirect meaning, indirect meaning via an adapter. Okay. So what do we say here? The entire slot is called ismun wa mu'awwalun. Okay. What's it called? Ismun mu'awwal. And then if you have you have something called the mausulun, and you have something called the sila. What's the mausul? The what and the zap. The things that allow, that comes before the sentence, which allows the sentence to become ismun ma'awwal. It makes the sentence, it transforms the sentence into a single, so in terms of grammatical function, it's like a word. It's a sentence on its own, but when it comes with this what or the that, this mausul, it makes it into a single slot. And the sentence is the sila. So the mausul is a normal, so sila is a normal sentence, ismi or fa'liya. And the mausul is what? The particles which allow that to come together. And what do you mean so far, following? Yeah. Okay. Now let's go to Arabic now. When we, go to, when we say here now, we say in Arabic, we have similar scenarios, similar situations. One situation is, we can have a slot direct. For example, we can have Zaydun Mubtada. And we simply put the khabar Yajlisu directly. Zaydun Yajlisu. Now in here, our khabar is a sentence. There's no need for any adapters, just straight away. Another example, you have, for example, when you have a maf'ul bihi, and the verb is qala. Qala. He said, "Ana mu'min." No additions. No, no mausul needed to make a sentence becomes a slot directly. No need for any additions. You following? However, sometimes you have to have a mausul to allow the, the sentence to become a sila, so the ism, the mausul and sila can become one ism ma'awal and then function as one slot. So far, so good. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now moving on, we now have the discussion of so the sila. We don't need to think about sila really at the moment. Sila simply means a sentence which has now been added to something that allows it. So we say has a mausul is an adapter. So a sila is basically a simple, a normal sentence which has been joined to a sila, the normal sentence which has been joined to an adapter. And that adapter allows that sentence to fit into one slot in a sentence. You got it? So I say that the sentence basically, nothing else we need to know about at the moment. We need to understand mausul. Okay, so far so good? Everybody with me? Moving on now. The mausul. Now, if you go, let's go this side. Now, if we look at sentence number two and sentence number three, when I said, I read what you wrote, from that sentence, what meaning are we extracting? I read what you wrote. What's the maqsood 
meaning of that sentence, what you wrote. I read that thing which you wrote. That thing, that thing, that thing, that thing, that thing. I repeat it like five times on purpose because what was thing? A noun. We've abstracted the noun element of that sentence. I, I, the, the words, the thing, the letters, the what meaning what? The words, the letters, the graffiti, whatever, the drawing, the summary, whatever you wrote, that thing is what I am focusing on. And example number three, it pleased me that you wrote the lesson. What's the what's, what's the, what's, what's made me happy? Your performance of the action. Your performance, 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 performance. Performance is what? A verb. The action itself. So you see here, even in English, we have two types of mausul. A mausul which extracts a noun meaning and a mausul which extracts the verb meaning. For him too? Yes? So for everybody with me? Yeah. Ahmad, following? Yeah. Okay, now, if you go to Arabic, and I'll go back to Arabic again, you say, okay, we have Mosul. Then how are you going to say here? There are two types of Mosul. We say this Mosul. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going against what the classical scholars have said in labeling, not classical, but like medieval scholars. Because it just makes it easy for us to understand. So my, my labeling here is a bit different. I'm going to call it here. We have one thing called Harfun Mosul. What do we call Harfun Mosul before? Mosul Harfi. Yeah. So it just, it, just, it just makes more sense to call it Harfun Mosul. So Harfun Mosul and Ismun Mosul. So Harfun Mosul and Ismun Mosul. The Ismun Mosul, you get no points for guessing this, guessing this right. Which meaning is a, does a Ismun Mosul extract from the sentence after it? The second one. Which is? What you wrote. This is the first one, noun. The noun. So Ismun Mosul extracts the noun meaning. And Harf Mosul extracts which meaning? Verb. The verb meaning. So it extracts a verb meaning from that thing after. Okay. So far, so good. Anybody following? Yeah. No. What's the Ismail Mosul? This is Al-Ladi and its brothers and sisters, Al-Ladi, Al-Ladani, all of those. The Isman and the Isma. The Harf Mosul? We have an. Let's do anna first. Anna. An. Kai. Low. And we have. Anna. So now let's get let's get a few examples here. Let's 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 do let's just put one sentence in the middle, and let's extract meanings from it. So let's say for example we have the example. Uh, So I have here, let's say for example, I read the book. I read the book. Qara'tu al-kitab. Qara'tu. If I said, al-ladhi qara'tu. What does that mean? Al-ladhi qara'tu. So if you put al-ladhi before it, what meaning does it give? The person read the book. No. Al-ladhi qara'tu. So, so the thing that you read. The noun meaning. The noun meaning. If I said, if I said, Annaka karakta, ya Annaka karakta. We have Anna from Mushabun Shail. What meaning is the extract from this? The verbal. Verbal meaning that you read. You understand? Make sense? Muhammad, you following? Mustab, you following? Muhammad Wali? No, Ibrahim. Understood? So all of these, all of these Mosul are basically what? These are basically 
um, we can say here, I, I don't know, the, I cannot find the exact English term for it. These all allow the now ismin mausul or the or the harfin mausul. When they come before a sentence, they make the sentence along with the sila into a ismin ma'awwal. And then that sentence fits, that, that ismin ma'awwal fits into the slot. Because, for example, some slots can't become a, 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 a center directly. For example, here in Zaydun Yajlisu, Yajlisu becomes a mukhaba directly, no addition, no adapter. Qala and a mu'min, that fits directly, no need for any addition. But for example, if, if I have, for example, another center, I say, for example, Arad tu. I want to, Arad tu. I want, I want to fast. I can't say aradtu asum. I can say well, aradtu. Do I want the thing to fast or the action of fasting? The action of fasting. I think that a mos a harfun mausulun. Aradtu. Aradtu an asuma. And now we have here. This now is ismun ma'awwal. Made up of what? A sentence. That sentence is called the sila normally. It's a normal sentence. And the adapter, which comes before it, to allow it to fit into. Allow it to fit into the slot, the small soul. And in this example, because the maqsur and the objective is the, the action, we add a most harfun mausul and assume. Okay. If you want to extract a noun meaning, then you use one of the ismun mausul. Is that clear to everybody? Now, one issue that we come across sometimes is ma comes both places. How do we know what ma means? It can be both meanings, depending on what you, what you want to say. Sometimes both will fit, sometimes only one will fit. Okay? Yes? Okay, so for example, if I said, for example, now let's say here, I have this example here. I have. Para tu ma katabta. Now here, what we think is karaptu ma katab. So again, what do we have here? We have a sentence which the maful bihi can't be a slot directly. The sentence is a, is a sila. We add an ismin mausul, a mausul before it. Is this an ismin mausul or a harfun mausul? It looks like an ismin mausul. I read the thing that you wrote. And that's like an example that comes in the Quran. Okay? Okay? Let's say for example, okay? Okay, Yadhulun al Jannata. It's not the exact word, but it's similar structure from the Quran. Yadhulun al Jannata. Yadhulun al Jannata. Bima Sabaru. So now what do we have here? We have here Basar Funjar. The Maju can't come as a center directly. You have to add, you have to add it. You have to add a what? A Mausul before the Sina. Is this an Ismun Mausul or Harfun Mausul? Are they entering Jannah because of a thing you do sabr or because of the action of doing sabr? The action. The action of doing sabr. So this is what kind of mausul is this? This is what? Yeah. Harfun mausul. This is now what? Harfun mausul. Another example. If you say, for example, La uh, uhibbu. لا أحب ما تشركون بالله لا أحب ما تشركون بالله وما يشرك سنج يشركون لا أحب ما يشركون بالله. Okay, right. What do we have here? We have here يشركون بالله. The sentence it comes from the مفعول directly. The sentence is what? Yushrikuna billah. What do we call that sentence? What that sentence we call it? Sila. The sentence is called Sila. Ma is the ma is the what? Mausul. And then it's a mausul and sila the mausul and sila become what? Ism ma'awal. Ism ma'awal. Is this maus ism mausul or harfun mausul? To ism or to harf, that is the question. Is it harfun mausul or ism mausul? 
Ism. What is it? Hmm? Ism. If it's Ism and Mausun, that means what? I do not like those things that you attribute to partnership with Allah. I do not like those idols, those fake gods that you attribute to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Can it also be the harf and mausul? Yeah. It can also fit here. I do not like your action of ascribing partners to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So now ma can be ismun mausul or harf and mausul. It can be both, both meanings fit here. Understood? Muhammad? Yeah. Yes? Anybody have any questions? Ibrahim? Ibrahim, you following? Yes, Hamad, you following? Yeah. Okay. Is, it, is, it very, is it clear to everybody? Very, very clear. Any confusion between Mosul? So now let us just note here. Classically, or not classically, but in the book of Arab, they call it Mosul Harfiyun. If you call the Harf and Mosul, it makes it much, it's much more simple because Harf and Mosul is in Mosul. It, it, it adds up, it seems that you know, it, it's two categories, it's clearer. So we're going to have that in our book. I'm going to, so I'm going to rename it Harf and Mosul so it just fits too, in, in, a, in a pattern that is, 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 it just fits better. Yes? And is it clear that Ism Mosul and the Harf and Mosul, the difference in the, in the purpose of these, these particles, these, these, these uh, tools? Yeah. So Sula is just basically a sentence. That could not, you know, for example, in theory, Yejlisu could have been a sila as well, isn't it? Yejlisu could have been a sila, isn't it? But because the khabar does not need, uh, the khabar allows uh, a sentence to become the khabar without uh, an adapter. So Yejlisu doesn't need to become a, maus, a sila. It doesn't need a mausul to allow it to become a open. The, the khabar itself can become the. So if you look here now, so if you look here, let's go back, let's go here. We have here, let's if we go back here, we look a little bit, we see here, we have Mubtada. Just at least a few examples. Mubtada, Khabar, we have Maf'ul Bihi, and just Khan. Let's use a few examples here. So we can say here is Mubtada, the Khabar. Khabar can, the Khabar, all of these can be, we call it here, a noun, a single noun. All of these can be a noun. Yes, Maf'ul Bihi can be a noun, Khabar can be a noun. Mubtada can be a noun. We don't have basic baby language. Now, the khabar can be what? A jumla. Without an adapter. The hal can be a jumla without an adapter. All right? Maf'ul bihi, some cases. But when you have, remember, which case? When you have qala. The maf'ul bihi of qala. Can become a jumla as well. All right? But Muftada can't become a jumla. Muftada, muftada can become what? Ismun ma'awwal. You have to have a, 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 a mausul to make it into You can't have a jumla as a muftada. You can't have, some, in some verbs other than qala, you can't have a, 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 you can't have a jumla as a, as a maful bihi. You have to have an ismun ma'awwal, which is a jumla built in. So the ismun ma'awwal can become. Do you understand? So certain slots allow the jumla to come on its own, and certain slots you have to have an ismun ma'awwal. An ismun ma'awwal basic a sentence, a sentence with what? Uh, a, a, a mausul. So the, the ismun ma'awwal, the ismun ma'awwal, and a jumla is no different other than the fact that the, the, the jumla comes directly, and the ismun ma'awwal, the sila, the, the, the jumla becomes a sila with a mausul before it just to adapt, to adapt to the sentence. Is that clear now? And the reason we have that, that mausul sila is that some sentences you can't have a sila. You can't have a jumla direct stop. You have to add this mausul to it. And when you call it mausul, then that jumla is no longer called a jumla. That jumla is called what? A sila. In essence, it's the same thing. So basically, it's sentence. So if you were to if you say baby language, a sentence, uh, the sentence becomes directly or with adapter. You see here? Either direct slot, directly or with an adapter. Muhammad, Fahim? Yeah. yeah. Is it very, is it very clear everybody now? InshaAllah. Yes,
Wa alaikum assalam. Wa alaikum assalam.